Alright, time for more kicks and giggles with another double roulette against A180. So I get a crappy, crappy team this time. It has, I believe, five walls and one uh, pretty crappy sweeper, who fortunately at least I get to lead with, and that's Punk. So I uh, don't want to stay in here with Grenade Man and get fire punched by Hyperion. And uh, a couple of things I could do with Punk. He's scarfed, so I know he's going to go first. And uh, unfortunately, I decide to uh, not do the Zen headbutt on Hyperion like I should do. And I head smash. I don't know if I was predicting a switch or if I temporarily forgot that fighting resists rock. I don't know what I was doing there. Anyway, switched in uh, Shade Man to uh, looks like I dodged an Earthquake there. So that was nice. Only Punk went down out of that. And, uh, let's see, think about, he sets up some spikes, what do I want to do here? I think I'll go out to Tengu Man to, uh, dodge whatever and maybe hit Hyperion, try to finish him off with a Drill Peck and, uh, knock off Altair's leftovers. But Wi-Fi disconnects us, so, uh, see what we want to do, and we just decide to redraw new numbers, which suits me just fine because that team I had was utter crap and, uh, would have been pretty boring. So I get a much, much better lead off this time. I get Tomahawk Man and uh, one of my fun Grenade Man versions. So uh, i go for an Ice Punch on Brinstar for a four-time super effective hit, which will maybe finish it off. And uh, with this Grenade Man, this is a special Grenade Man that does not do what most Fortress do. But... Uh, Tomahawk Man goes for the Ice Punch, and with the Life Orb, I'm able to finish Brinstar off in one hit. So that's looking good so far. Unfortunately, his Focus Blast hits, and that's going to wax Weevil. But I'm able to uh, counter him back with a Payback, which will knock him down to 1 HP, and allow me to set up a kill with something else. So now I'm going to go out to someone who's got a priority move, so I can uh, finish Mon Games off before he does some other damage. Goes out to Hyperion, so uh, bringing Top Man for the Bullet Punch. Could be Moth Punch, but I ultimately decided for Bullet Punch just for hitting Psychics and Ghosts and stuff like that. But uh, either one would have worked at 1 HP, so whatever. Get rid of Mind Games, and uh, Grenade Man's able to live a Fire Punch, which is sweet. Hit him with a Payback, because that's about the only thing I've got. Could have went with an Earthquake, but I didn't want to hit Top Man, so. Did a pretty hefty chunk with a crit, but not that much that it's going to 2-hit KO or anything like that. And so I'll see what I want to do here, see what he brings in. He's going to bring in Harbinger, who will be faster than Top Man. So uh, this would be a right, good situation to have, Mock Punch, I guess. But this is just the beta, so it's for testing purposes anyway. Go for a Triple Kick, and apparently... My understanding of Triple Kick was flawed. I was led to believe that it always hits three times. Apparently it does not, and is therefore utter garbage. I just really wish he learned Double Kick, because Double Kick would be much better. But uh, apparently I'm going to switch that over to something like, heck, Rolling Kick, maybe. It's got crappy accuracy, but at least it still picks up Technician Boost. Uh, so I'll have to keep that in mind for a full Top Man version if I ever make one. Anyway, go out to Mega Man and Bass, which is epic and uh, see what I want to do here. Faster than both of his guys, or I should be. So I uh, think for a long time what to do. And ultimately I just decide, screw it with Bass. Bass is choice banded, so I'd, but uh, this is double, so he's probably going to have something that I can hit for a decent amount. Go for the Leaf Blade, and apparently CB Leaf Blade, even with this crappy Bass, does a pretty nice chunk to Illyria as it comes in and takes well over 50%. And then Mega Man's able to Psycho Cut and finish off Hyperion, so looking pretty good. I've got two strong guys out there. Sins in Borealis, and let's see, I'll go ahead and uh, finish off Illyria, I think, with a Psycho Cut uh, after I smack Borealis with a nice stab, super effective Leaf Blade, which also does, uh, does about as much as it did to Illyria, actually, because Suicune's just bulky like that. But uh looks like that's going to finish 2 it KOing it. But he tail wins, so whatever comes in now is uh, going to be faster than my guys, so I'll have to see if I can take the hits. Harbinger comes in, and I'm just hoping he doesn't get a crit with something. I've got some other guys who can maybe pull this off. Or do I? I'm not sure, actually. I think these may be my last two guys. But uh, anyway, 
Doesn't get the crit, but he does get the freeze on the ice beam, so that made me sad. But I was able to smack Harbinger with the close combat and finish him off, so now I've got Frozen Bass and Mega Man should be able to finish off Borealis. Tailwind's still up, but uh, hopefully Mega Man can take whatever kind of special attack gets thrown there. Bass resists the Surf, Mega Man survives the Surf even with the special defense drop, and uh, go for the close combat, which... Uh, surprisingly didn't finish it off, but that's fine. Tailwind's petered out now, so Mega Man's gonna be faster, and, uh, Bass will be faster if he unthaws, which he does, or unthaws, just thaws, which he does, and finishes off Boreas with Leaf Blade, and so, uh, that was pretty fun, and later days, 